Global Spine Outreach is a 501c3 nonprofit that transforms the lives of children with severe spinal deformities around the world. My name is Tony Ranella. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon based in Chicago. I became a spine surgeon because I wanted the opportunity to make a real difference in patients' lives. No patients want spine surgery, but some really need it, and a caring physician goes a long way to make that experience more reasonable. What keeps the encounters with these kids so fresh is that uh, they're very unique. Um, every child is different, born to a different family and a different, different so social circumstance. And I think that's what keeps uh, me from being desensitized to their deformity. Um, because if all we did was look at x-rays all day long, then I could certainly understand how from one day to the next, one patient to the next, that it's just another spine. But what really has so much meaning is that each one of these kids has a story, something that they're telling. Uh, and the spine problem that they have is really just a part of their story. No. nosotros sí. eh, pues es algo es algo especial porque pues uno no espera nada de, de estas cosas en, en el futuro ¿verdad? porque simplemente estamos acostumbrados a estar viendo la vida como, como va como va saliendo como va siendo la vida por eso para nosotros es algo especial So one of the thoughts that frequently courses my mind is, um, as a parent, um, uh, what it would mean uh, if I had a child uh, that didn't have access to care and all of a sudden they have this 
bumps her up on their back and the bump gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And she's coming home from school and getting made fun of and not able to be as energetic as the other kids and she's wearing out a little bit more or maybe not breathing as well. And me seeing the doctor and then the doctor telling me, you know, she's got this problem it's called scoliosis and she's really beyond fixing here in Mexico and or wherever we're at. Um, that, my, that thought crosses my mind all the time. And uh, if that was Emery, my oldest daughter, that, that had that, um, man, I, you know, the fear and anxiety I think that I would be uh, encountered with would be uh, very overwhelming.